Hello everybody, this is Filipos from 3D Natives and welcome to another episode of Inside 3D Tour, the video series where we go backstage of leading additive manufacturing companies. Today's host, Massivit. Massivit has facilities in the US, over in Europe, but today we're here in Tel Aviv, Israel, because the company is celebrating its 10-year anniversary with a big rebranding as they've achieved a number of interesting milestones. As you might know, Massivit is one of the industry leaders when it comes to 3D printing large parts. How large? <laughs> Massive! <laughs> Let's go and meet them. So, we're here with Erez, CEO of Massivit. Hello, Erez. Hi, good morning. Thank you for coming and meet us here in Tel Aviv. Thank you very much for having us. So, tell us, Erez, how did everything get started? So, Massivit founded in order to address three main barriers of 3D printing. So, the first barrier is the speed, because when you print parts, you want it to be printed fast, let's say even ultra fast, that's the first barrier. The second barrier is the size. Many 3D printers are usually printed in, in the size of a shoebox, or of course bigger. And the third barrier is the material. And actually Massivit founded to address these three barriers, speed, size, and materials. And how we address these three barriers with our two technologies which called GDP, gel dispensing printing, this is the first generation, products that are based on Massivit 1800 and 5000, and the second generation is the Massivit 10,000 based on cast-in-motion technology. So obviously you guys are involved in a number of industries, you want to tell us a bit more about that? Actually addressing the markets that need parts large-scale parts in a very fast way. We're talking about marine, rail, automotive, and other industries that there is a strong need for fast parts into the market. Erez, what would you say the latest big milestone for Massivit has been? I think for us as a company, the biggest milestone is to make a real disruptive change in the composite market when you can produce parts for composite, again, in a matter of days instead of weeks with our groundbreaking technology and really to disrupt this market. And now we're here with Avi. Avi, thank you very much for your time. So what are we going to talk about today? Hello, Filippos. Today we will talk about the machine, the technologies, the material we are using and about so many things that people might not know until today. Well, wonderful. Uh, here we're standing in front of the 5000 that is using the GDP technology. What does that mean exactly? GDP stands for gel dispensing printing. And as many people might know, there are different types of technologies, SLA and SLS and FDM and, and powder and lasers. But the GDP, the gel printing, is a categ category by itself. It's the only technology that's printing using gel. So can you tell us a bit more about actually how the technology works? The Massivit 5000 is technically the only machine that can print not only with one head, but with two different heads. Now many machines could have two different heads, but here they are also uh, applying different type of Z-axis. So one of the parts can be longer or shorter, and those can be printed at the same time. A huge time saving. We're standing in the R&D and integration hall of Massivit that hosts all the different machines uh, you guys have, including the 10,000 that we saw for the first time last year. What is this machine all about? The 10,000 is using a technology that's called SIM, cast in motion. This technology is very unique. Unlike other materials, we are printing the outer shell using a water breakable material and casting into the shell during printing. This allows you to get a very composite material like epoxy that are not printable. Okay, and what kind of applications do you get to achieve with this technology? The water breakable material allows you to print complex parts ideal for composite material, mandrels, tooling and jigs. Don't forget that we are actually printing two materials, the cast in motion, the epoxy for example, and a water breakable material. The water breakable uh, goes and crumbles in the water after it's being printed, leaving you a perfect mold in your hand. And what are the benefits of this technology and how does it compare to traditional manufacturing methods? Looking at the way people making uh, molds today, uh, they are using different type of techniques. It takes a lot of time and a lot of waste. Uh, the cast-in-motion technology, we are technically can print 
the mold itself directly out of the machine, that could not only be fast, but the technology allows you to get complete isotropic material and properties of the mold. Well, thank you very much, Avi. Thanks for hosting us and showing us around. It was a great pleasure. Thank you, 3D Native. Thank you for coming. Pleasure to host you anytime. And that's a wrap. Thank you very much for joining us in this massive episode of Inside 3D Tour. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.